Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. I want to ask you this, man. Like, all right. Right now, you say right now, the business is like, it yeah. has you. Yeah. Will you ever get back to oh, the man. music? Listen, of course. Talk about it. What, of what's course. going on? My business, man? me start my business is this. Um, I don't want, I don't want no handouts. I'd rather work for everything I got. You know what I'm saying? And and when I when I, like I said, even like I said, I'm I'm, I'm giving this message to people because I know it's gonna be shining around the world. You have to think before you react on a lot of things. So if your if your account is low, instead of buying them new J's or asking somebody else to give you some money, if you have fifteen hundred dollars invested in something that's gonna generate so much from it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it was with me. Is the option of paying for school and being broke and, and emceeing week in a weekend to make a couple of hundred to pay my bills or take that same money and invest it in something that's going to quadruple. You know what I'm saying? Something that's going to start an empire and then I can go back and get that same degree or those two degrees, you know, or those three degrees with that money. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to pay the government nothing. I don't have to pay nobody nothing. And, just give it towards what's going on. And even with that situ my situation, it could be one of those scholarships or them, them foundations that I could give to everybody else. Because every black person should own their own business. Like, I, I can't preach that enough. Wow. Like, to have a sense of, of ownership, not to say I work and you be so mad, I work for these people, and I won't be here, and uh, my boss is, but you're not in your boss's shoes. You're not in the C COO or CEO's shoes. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, they're looking for the green. They're looking for, you know, to build bigger than what they are. So that's the same thing with black owned business. Support us more than we support anything else. You know what I'm saying? We're cooking the same food they're cooking. But it's a convenience. Mm -hmm. You know what I was going to ask you this. So you have a restaurant, like, so yeah. is it like, like Louisiana Cajun based? Like, it's, it's, it's Southern. It's, it's, it's a Southern soul I'm bringing to, and it's, and it's a fast food. It's a fast food, but it's a place that you can relax and chill because I can't wait to, you know what I'm saying? When when it when, it's, when it opens up, I'm inviting everybody. Oh, it's not Change the plan. Y'all y'all come and holler at me. Man, look, hey, y'all hear this? Y'all hear this? So when I bring her, bring homecoming, her homecoming. Be... Listen, homecoming week, grand opening. All right. Yeah. So it's I'm giving so much in it. You know what I'm saying? It's a place where you can sit down. It's a place where you can watch the game. It's a place where you can enjoy pole boys. Uh, wings. I'm doing specialty menus on certain days. Well, for my Tuesday is gonna be Fat Tuesday, so I'm gonna do gumbos and all kind of stuff like that. Um, I uh, let one of my friends from Dubai try a hot sausage patty. I don't know if you had a hot sausage pull boy from New Orleans. Well, some people gonna relate to me on this one. It's a, it's a particular patty that that's not sold in Northern Louisiana, but it's hot. It's, it's really popular where we're from, and it's a very tasty item. You know what I'm saying? So, from the loaded fries to everything, man, I'm gonna have a snowball standing at my. So ah, it's just, man. it's just gonna be a place where you can relax and you are gonna hear the sounds of, of rebirth mm -hmm. and so many people that we lost and we we, not in tune with. And I just wanna open up a sense of, of mind to people when they coming out. I'm a musically inclined person, mm -hmm. so when you walking out, I wanna I wanna inspire you through the doors, from from the first smell. To the first look, I want to inspire you through the door. And you walk out there and say, "Man, I'm come back here tomorrow." You know what I'm saying? So it's just one of them things, bro. That, like I said, not having much gave me a sense to want more and a sense to love. You know? mm -hmm. So, I mean, are you fully staffed yet? Are you looking for hiring? Uh, or... I'm, my hire next week. Oh. My hire next. So once I leave, once I leave you, I gotta go back Sunday and start some more, um, some more things building in there. And the next week, I'm hiring. Next week. Um, my license should be in, then the next week after that, I'm going to go through my training, then boom, it's homecoming before you know it. Oh, and then, you got some stuff going on. Man. I want to say this, I know this is the first one, do you Do you plan on expanding once you get everything? Of course, of course. I gave myself uh, a the, the minimum six months, the maximum two years mm -hmm. before my next one opens. So it's going to probably fall dead in the middle, probably a year and a half. To be open another one. My my second location I wanna open up in Ruston. Mm -hmm. So I'm in Gramlin with this one. Yeah. I wanna open up in Ruston around campuses. I wanted to be 
a feel like Chick-fil-A. Wow. Yeah. They, they, they really yeah. I wanted to be a Chick-fil-A feel because and what inspired me to really do it, I thought about it. Let me tell you how it went. I Talk thought about it in May. I thought about it in May, like I said, because I was contemplating what I wanted to do with school. I thought about it in May. By June, I drew up the, the logo and everything for it. By July, I, I found the building and I sat outside the building. I didn't know if it was for rent. I know I took a picture of it and I posted it in my I looked at it in my phone every day. From that point, I bumped into Mike B. Mike B? Mike B. Mike B, Mike B is my business owner, one of my business owners, my partners in the situation. Yeah. Yeah. And he he spoke exactly what I was saying. So you want like some Rick Ross type stuff. You know Rick Ross, he got on the wing stops. Yeah. He's doing checkers right now. Yeah. So, I mean, I, hopefully, like I said, hopefully, other artists should. Of course. Because cause music brings people together. That's just a that's just a gateway to yeah. a whole bunch of different things, i.e. your restaurant. Yeah. So. And, and, and another thing is, too, they got to understand this, that things can last forever. The phrase that nothing lasts forever, things can last forever. But one thing about the music, do you want to be... Do you want to be a, um, the, the uh, emperor of what you have, of what you have built, or still want to be the worker? You know, and that's a difference because people in the game, and some people in the game, no names, are 40, 50 years old and still workers for the game, workers for the music industry, instead of being the emperor of your own realm, of your own music empire, of your own restaurant empire. You know, you got that money, you can't floss. And, and wear chains and do all this and be that type of person for 20 years of your life. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a point where in your 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 prime, in your 20s, that, you know, you're going to live good. Yeah. Your, some of your 30s, you're going to live all right. But it's going to be a point where when you touch 40 and you start to want to have kids and you want to, you see things in a totally different, because they fussing about the new sound. I see it now. They fuss about the new sound right now. Yeah. And it, I mean, I don't got nothing against it. I mean, I don't, do I have to listen to him? No, but I don't have nothing against it. That's just how the world's evolving. You know, everybody's not gonna rap in a rhyming scheme like we used to do back in the 90s or early 2000s, you know what I'm saying? You have to give those kids that found their own sound their credit because they created their own sound. Yeah. It was a point in time where they couldn't, that beatbox and stuff wasn't, people weren't feeling that. Yeah, but you did it so much that you, that's one thing about music. You can play it once and you not your mind's not gonna connect with it right away. Not on every song. But when you play it, like even with the music industry, they'll play a song over and over and over and over. It could be trash on the radio. On the radio, on your Instagram, on any platform, they're going to drill it into your head. On your 2K game, mm -hmm. on, on, on advertisement, they're going to drill that one song into your head because they want their money back on what they put out for. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah, you most so, definitely a product. They got to get their own. Oh, yeah, they got to they gotta get it because even looking at my royalty checks on certain songs and stuff, they got to get their money back. Yeah. And I want to go on this. I, I want to go on this too, man. Speaking of royalty checks, because I, I interview a lot of artists. Yeah. Um, and I try to tell young guys, right? I don't rap. Yeah. I just I advertise. Mm. You bring me your product, and I advertise. That's yeah. all I do. Yeah. But I try to tell them to go get the rights to your music. Oh yeah. Own your music. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you go you go want your royalties on the back end. You go yeah. want all that. Some people just make music, make music, make music. You just put it out. Yeah. Next thing you know. They get signed to the label, the label on this, the label on that, <laughs> label on all your stuff. Yeah. They, they get a piece of your merchandise, everything. Yeah. Yeah. So I just try to tell them, like, look, go learn the business, go go copyright your music, go do all this stuff. And, and I, I try to tell them, but... <laughs> and that's the thing, we, we could try, and especially if we're not in in that same basket with them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. if, if they feel like you're a carpenter, but I'm a rapper, and you trying to tell me about royalties? Man, what do you know about that? You know what I'm saying? And one of the blessed people that came in my life is Aha Gazelle. I don't know if you ever gonna interview this man. Yeah, I heard of Aha's man. Man, 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 you gotta interview this man. I've been on You gotta interview my brother. I've been on that board for a minute. You gotta sit down with my brother because oh, him, him and his management team, shout out to Welsh Inc., shout out to Aha. Those people are truly a blessing yes. for God because they don't just take artists or if they feature artists on their, their music, mm -hmm. they don't just take them and say, well, we're going to do the song and, you know, that's what it's going to be. They really sit down and teach you the game yes. about certain things and what not to do, what to do, what to sign, what not to sign, how to distribute your music, mm -hmm. how long you should do with this label, 
but they break down really the statistics. They break down the game to you what they learn because they that's one group of people that really got it out the mud for real. And, and he hot. Look, look, look at those dates. Just look at those dates. Dude, look at those dates. June twenty first, two thousand sixteen. Look at those dates. Like. Ah, Gazelle. Hey, hey, bro. I've been knowing you for a minute. 16. Yeah, yeah. And it's on your website. Yeah, yeah. That's long. That's 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 a, that's a hot minute ago. Yeah. Because <laughs> we broke. And that's why I say I did I did a few songs. So from Fiji made me do it. It was the Omelet song. Shout the Papa. Yeah. Uh, Papa from, Yeah. Yeah. From the Omelet song that oh that, that, that brought me up a little level. Then meeting the Aha mm -hmm. and doing the Mama House song. Mm -hmm. And it was like. I always thought music was a one. I didn't know it was just, you know what I'm saying? Certain type of people, but I, I, in my mind, I, I was really dumbfounded to one. Mm -hmm. So, meeting Aha and doing a song with him and, and going on certain tours and oh, and going to some of his shows, I'm talking about the line is out the door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's saying like the, the line is like, listen, and, you, and his production, and his show itself is really something like heartfelt. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And doing a show with him and, um, uh, Lecrae. Yeah, I know Lecrae. Lecrae. Mm -hmm. Even even making a song and Lecrae sitting in the studio, I didn't know who Lecrae was at first. I didn't. Oh. You know what I'm saying? And I, people look at me like, you didn't know who Le I didn't know. You know. But at the end of the day, I kept a professional. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I was still, I, I still myself, I'm a clown. Mm -hmm. And he enjoyed hearing me make that song. Mm -hmm. So the whole process, man, them boys there. I can't give him enough praise, you know. Oh yeah, Demar Jackson doing this thing too. Man, oh yeah. Demar Jackson. Doing oh yeah, this and thing. that's one. That's another dude the same way. Yeah. He's the same way as I hug as hell. Demar Jackson is one of those people, bro. He's from Derrida, Louisiana. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know too many people from Derrida, mm -hmm. Demar. Yeah, he putting on. Right now, like mm -hmm. <laughs> Demar is one of those people, man. He the only. He's one of the only artists I know. That go out and really pass out his own flies and posters and and he don't just. Ladder gag and he got it out the mud. He's gonna, he, 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 he gonna stop all the necessary you. Steps. It wouldn't like like right now. Everybody using social media and stuff. Yeah, man, he was out here. Yeah, because like I say, I'm I was I got the initial in '08. Uh huh. And I started going to ULM parties. That's why I met um Dear Silas. Yeah. Right now with Trey Parker. Dope, dope, dope. That's why I, I met him. And he had a hot top fade at the time. Yeah. And a duck tail at the back. Yeah. I saw the mall because I think. I think he was like KK side Alpha at the time. He's Alpha. And I seen him. I seen him. You know what I'm saying? I, I got the I got the um I had like one of his CDs he had at Cunland Mall. Uh -huh. And he was passing them out. It was like years ago. I'm sorry, probably like 2010, probably like nine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's almost that's nine almost ten years ago. Uh -huh. But look how long. And now he's finally, finally getting his own spotlight. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So Man, that's one person. Yeah. I, if I can't say too much, I wanna say something like the grind with this man, dog, like the passion behind, and he's trying to really revive R and B. Yes. Because you come here and there with certain R and B artists, and they don't get that shine no more. And R and B was a, a, a genre of music that used to shine. Like all the gangsters used to love R and B, and he's one of those those real calm, great spirited, up tempo people that when you hear his music, you are gonna love his music and you love his spirit because he's gonna he got genuine fans because mm -hmm. he found his fans, he built his fans from growing up. So if you walk up to him and he passing out a CD, he's gonna explain to you what's going on. He's just not gonna hand you the CD. He gonna explain to him. Demar Jackson, look, here's my Instagram, man. Like the X, Y, and Z. Look, I've been in the game so long. I just want a shot. And that's and looking at him do that from the last year Louisiana Fest. Nice. Last year Louisiana Fest, and I watch him really give his all into the game. So. Big ups to my brother, dog. Like that's love. Like if he don't make it, man, y'all tripping. No, he gonna make it. He, yeah, <laughs> he, he but he gonna make it. it. But if, if y'all don't show him the respect that he needs, yeah. something wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying?